Hi and welcome to Makeup Mug. My name is Leanne. First words out of my mouth today. <laughs> You're my first boo. Welcome uh, to a midweek. We have, you know, a limited amount of time till our first meeting starts at work. So we're going to get ready, but we're feeling lonely. So we, we're hanging out with our internet friends. Get ready with me. <laughs> There's a title for you too. So it's, I promise you, some weeks feel like multiple weeks within one. Yesterday I, I looked at the calendar and I thought it cannot be Tuesday. It cannot be Tuesday because... It had been at least six weeks since Monday. I promise you, it was insane. So, lots, lots at work. Just, you know, craziness at work. Um, some folks have asked what I do for a living. I did a Q&A a while back, like, yeah, last year, I think. And um, what I do for work is kind of unique. Um, I work at a medical billing and coding company. And I'm simplifying it because reasons but I I am the person I am a person on uh, I have a team now that is responsible for documenting and ensuring that folks understand their workflow how they do their job in a medical software program like that so oh let's update on look she came Look, I have two. That looks so much better, right? Like it's even and symmetrical of sorts. So I reorganized that. We're gonna do a tour at some point, don't worry. Um, but also, I'm super stoked about it. Like I come in here and look at it at night. It brings me peace. I really like it. It's like, it's, it's how I wanted my makeup palettes to be, but never got there. But now I have. And they are organized by, um, almost exclusively by brand here. There's some others on other shelves. Like there's, there's kimchi, um, stuff like that. So anyway, <clears throat> super stoked. That was the Revlon photo ready, whatever primer. And I did a thing. They did a thing. Oh, I need to put on glowy before I use this because I learned that yesterday. We need glow. So let's, let's use the LYS Brave like liquid highlighter. Shake it up real good. It's uh, super liquidy, so it comes out pretty fast. You got to be ready. You got to be ready for her. Um, yeah, we go. we're going to need a little bit of Tin Man today. So work is nuts, but in a good way. We're getting a lot done, which is why the days feel like they're so packed full of stuff. But um, I have a fuzzy. Aha. Um, <clears throat> it's a good thing. I mean, it, it is. I'm just also quite tired. Um, and I'm also in school. So it's doing schoolwork after a day of work is a lot to do. That's the Urban Decay. Nope. Milk. Hydro Grip. Eyeshadow Primer. Sample that we got. Still using her. Because there's like, I don't know, a week, maybe 10 days worth in that one sample. But if it, I don't know that I would use it out of the little foil for that long. But anyway, these little, these little things are great. So I did another thing with, them, with one of these because I have a problem. Not really. So I was going through and working on moving some of my foundations from one location into a drawer. And uh, I had all these little teeny tiny, like, not quite a deluxe sample, but a little bit smaller. Um, I think I probably have one or one left or so. Here's, here's, an, here's, a, here's an example of what I mean. It's more than a foil packet. It's less than like a big, like a, like a deluxe, you know, like it's, a, anyway, whatever. I have a lot of those. And I 
did a thing. I squeezed them all into a container and I made a Franken foundation for myself. And I wore it yesterday and it wasn't bad. <laughs> so in this tub is Dior. Uh, I think there's Kevin Aqua. Uh, there's Guerlain. There's, oh gosh. There's some cover effects, custom cover drops to adjust the shade. There's, oh, let me think. Um, it's a little dark. I'm still working on it. But I ran out of room in the little container and I was like, it's okay. I'll work with dark foundation until I can fix the, the color. The tone's pretty dang interesting too. Um, oh wait, hang on. What else is there in there? There was something really, really light. <laughs> Maybe that was the Kevin Aqua, the Etherealist one. Maybe. So anyway, coverage is pretty dang good. Color is a little off. We'll work on it. But it's my Franken foundation. Because <laughs> I'm like, I'm never going to. Like, mixing something that small with something else. Like, good glory. That's a pain, right? Like, it's such a pain. So, I'm like, either I'm going to, like, give these to somebody else who's darker than me. Or I'm going to, you know, which if somebody was around and loved makeup as much as I would, I would have already given them to them. But it is... The folks that I typically give makeup to are actually even lighter than me, which is hysterical um, as far as foundation goes. But it is, it was an experiment. A experiment. I'm a scientist, okay? I am a cosmetic scientist. <laughs> Have you ever done something this, cr it was late at night also, let's be honest. It was getting, it was, it, I was getting a little punchy, so I did it. And I ain't mad at myself. Actually, I held up really well yesterday. Um, super stoked. So there she is. There's my Franken foundation. Again, a little dark. A little peachy, really. But we can make our work. Don't say anything about my hair. I literally just got out of bed. So judge not lest I come to your house and sit at your bar and make you make me banana bread or something. <laughs> Please make me banana bread. Actually, there's the bakery in town that I really, really, really like. And they make, they make banana bread, but they also make other fruit breads. And they make this apple bread that is mm, 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 slap your mama good. And it's run by these lovely people who I'm sure would not like me to slap my mother, but they're, I mean, so good, so delicious. I also pulled back out my NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. This little bad boy, it's way too dark. It's in light. Um, I need fair, but it's sold out everywhere. So, if y'all go into Ulta and you see a fair one of these things, you can sell it for a lot of money, I think. Because <laughs> it ain't nowhere. Um, but buy two, send me one. And, um, and then sell the other one on eBay and get your money. But it is... It's so, it's such a nice concealer. And I think that's, when I went to Ulta to buy, when I went and bought that, I didn't go to buy it. Um, there was no fair shade. This was the the lightest offering. And I think they came out with fair, or maybe fair was only offered in certain places, but whatever. It is now sold out everywhere. And I would have loved to have gotten my hands on it. And I probably will. I, I even might have done that thing at Ulta where you write your, um, email address so that when it comes into stock, I might have done that for this shade. I typically don't do that unless it's like something that I've already used. I just need a different color so that, you know, that I know for sure I'm going to buy it because it's that good of a product. This is one of those that's that good of a product. Uh, it really is. So I'm glad I put the glow underneath. Yesterday I was ultra matte. Um, whatever I've put in here is very matte. It's not, they weren't glowing foundations for sure. So, I mean, I just sat here and squeezed all these little bottles. That's all I did. Um, and that's fun to do. And then I shook it really, really hard. <laughs> okay, so there's either an itch or a fuzzy. I'm not sure which. We'll scratch it and then we'll buff over it again. I'm mad at that. That's beautiful, right? I think so. 
for powder today. Let's use, oh, I know what I wanted to try. I pulled this thing out when I was reorganizing some stuff. I promised to take you to the drawers. This is Estee Lauder's Lucidity. Do you, do you have one of these knocking around? I did, apparently. Let's try her under the eyes today. This is a BoxyCharm, little Z palette BoxyCharm from 17 years ago. There's that. Um, let's set eyeshadow primer with this random Ofra yellow shade that doesn't pull yellow at all. It's literally invisible, but it's a powder and it sets it. And we might as well use her up. I do not feel that this is, this eyeshadow primer, the Hydra Grip, is grippy at all. I don't think that it is. It doesn't feel grippy. Like there's no tack to it. I'm not sure what's going on there. But there that is. And then let's set the rest of the face with. I did use this powder yesterday. So let's use it again. This is the Kiko Milano Blossoming Beauty uh, Perfecting Powder. It is gorgeous. And I think my brush is starting to, yeah, it's starting to turn the compact. This is bright white. The compact is bright white. The powder itself is, oh, it looks white, but it's really translucent. It is so pretty. There's some sheen to it. Not very much. It's not even as much as my normal finishing powder. It's like nowhere near like an hourglass. Um, it's just really, really pretty. Kim sent this to me for my birthday, my Kiko Milano gift box. And it was, it's such, a, all the products were beautiful. This powder, though, this powder, though, did not expect to fall in love with the powder, but I have. It's just pretty. And I'm wearing down the little flower, and I'm sad, but I'm also happy because that means I love the product a lot. Love it. Okay. Okay. For blush and bronzer, I pulled back out. I, I mean, I got. I didn't get it that long ago, but I wanted, I, I wanted to keep using it. If I set things on my vanity, um to use on an every day, I, it's, it's because I, I want to use it. Either I haven't used it a long time or I'm missing it. And this is one that I didn't, I took it off my vanity, I cleaned it off, put everything away, and I missed it. I didn't, I, it's like I didn't get to use it long enough. And so I wanted to bring it back out. This is the Juvia's Place bronzed um, in light. And I used, I do, I use that light shade on an everyday basis. And it's just, it's just enough. If I do, if I'm not going, for like a super bronzy look. It's matte, it's beautiful, and I think it is a beautiful everyday look. I, my face is too dark today, and so I don't wanna go like super bronzy because I think it would make it darker, look, appear darker, because it would be. So anyway, uh, let's go back into everyday palette. Here is, I think it is apricot in the middle. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's apricot in the middle. Mm. I just, I wish I had, like, remembered that. It's a Wet n' Wild blush that came out, it came out of its pan. I guess it came unglued or whatever. And I had put it in a Z palette that I traveled with. And I just used it every day and hit pan on it. Love it so much. And so, let's try to use a blush up at some point in our life. It's just, I mean, it's gorgeous. Every day, very neutral. It's not too peachy, not too pinky. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. So, highlighter, I pulled this out too. As I went for the Juvia's Place, I saw this thing. And I, I saw it on Instagram again. This is the Suzy Keki Sunset Florist Highlighter Palette. It's this wild thing I got from Amazon because I saw it. And I was like, that's super cool. They're flowers. <laughs> and I think they're really pretty. They're not like super blinding. I mean, it's, it's there. It's not super blinding. But it's absolutely there. And I love it. I think it's absolute, It's a delight to use. And the packaging and the product itself, it makes me happy. So I use it. And there that is. I just think it's so cute. It's bulky as I'll get out, but it's, it's very cute. I like it a lot. Okay, let's do brows real quick. After I used up that Benefit Gimme Brow, not Gimme Brow, precisely my brow, I, I need to go back and use up this blessed It Cosmetics 
<gasps> the Brow Power in Universal Taupe because it's this is the original one that I've been using for stinking ever. It's so good though. That's the pro ooh. It's so good that I can't I can't give it up. I've gone like way out of the lines here. What are we doing today? Let's try that again. This is a deluxe sample size that has been kicking forever, but it works so well. than the other. I feel like I do this every day. You would think. I mean, sisters, not twins, get you only so far in life. Because they need to look like they belong on the same face. Sometimes. Okay, and then let's... I'll set with a Moira Brow Defying Mascara. Defying. Do I want my brows defying? Bourgeois. Let's go ahead and, I'll, while I'm thinking about it, spray the face and then we'll work on eyes. So in the process of getting the shelves straight, I have another project that I need to finish. And it is the drawers that house all my smaller palettes that either won't fit, aren't these brands, whatever it is. And in that adventure, because <laughs> it has been, of going through those drawers and pulling out the things that belong out on the shelves is I've discovered things that I have forgotten and things like that. I have a basket over here of eyeshadow palettes I, I haven't used yet that I need to try, that I want to try. And then sometimes I just, I fall in, I'm like, I remember this and I want to use it. This is one of those times. So the, <laughs> do you remember Coastal Scents where they would have their hot pots, their, their little eyeshadow palettes, like for 99 cents, that was the sale. And I bought a lot of them because I could afford that at the time. And I would buy, you know, multiples of, of, not multiples, but many of them, many shades. And I found this and now I want to use it because it's nostalgic. So yesterday I actually used the, the middle, the middle, the neutral one. And I thought maybe I would use this one because this is one of my favorite shades. It's a huge dip in there. I don't know if you can tell. This is Dreamsicle. I think I'm going to use the purpley ones today. I used these for so long, so long, and loved them. Just loved them because I made my own color story. I made my own, like I purchased the finishes that I wanted in the shades that I wanted. And I made my, I built my own palette is basically what this allowed me to do. I did the same thing with Mac years later when I could afford it. Um, and then I sort of just, these got moved on to the back of the drawer for that very reason. Because I was able to purchase more expensive brands. Not that they're luxury luxury but they are pricey mac shadows are not cheap this is before they went like really cheap to try to match makeup geek which i also have a palette of makeup geek shadows that i chose and now they're out of or about to be out of business and um I'm, I'm, i need to pull that shot that that big old palette out too and play with that because it, it does bring me joy look at the, i mean that look there was nothing wrong with coastal scents nothing nothing at all they are 
just as pigmented. They blend just, for me, they blend just as easily as anything else. And the, it's, I just, I loved them. Still do. Still love them. Okay. I have another Coastal Sense palette that's a bigger one. Like the, I think the biggest palette that they made, it was years later though. It, it had like a clear lid. Um, and that one's almost full. But I, I sort, I sort, I resorted them all so that I had shades that I wanted kind of either in a row or around each other so that I would, I didn't have to search for the shade that I was looking for to do a, I guess a common eye pairing look or something like that. I just, I just think they're beautiful. I, they perform just as well as anything else and I love them. Where's my little, there she is. Now, this is the thing that I'll tell you that if you put on a Coastal Scents, like, shimmer with a brush, you will not, like, you will not be impressed. You're like, okay, it's a little shimmery. But this is back in the day. And so, this is us with, like, two Real Techniques brushes and a Q-tip. And you put this bad boy on your finger... Now you're in business. <laughs> These shadows taught me for shimmers. You, I use my finger and I'm happy. And that's why I still do it to this day. It doesn't matter how high end it is. It is very likely that I will use my finger for a, a metallic, for a shimmer, something like that. Because it just works better. <laughs> and so this was the OG of that. This is so nostalgic for me. This is a classic look of these shades for me. And I'm super stoked about it. I'll try to do the dreamsicle look because I wore that look a lot. I wore orange eyeshadow all the time. I'll try to do that look for y'all so that you can see it. But, I mean, it's just, I mean, is it Anastasia? No. Is it Pat McGrath? No. Did it work for $4? Heck yeah. Yes, it did. And the four colors I wanted for $4. Not like when you went to the drugstore and there was something for $4 and like two of the shades that you didn't, you wouldn't wear that. I think that was the coolest thing about Coastal Scents was not only could I afford it, but I could, have, I could get the ones that I wanted. Here, I'll show you the other one that I have sitting right in front of me. And then next time I'll show you the big one. So this one's not quite full. But there's another like red orangey look with darker shimmers. But then this is like the grunt. This was my grungy look. And I don't know if you can tell. There's like dips in these bad boys. Because I was, I was, I loved them. I loved them. Still do. I love them now. All right, let's do an inner corner real quick using Wet n' Wild Sugar for my everyday palette here. Thank y'all for going on a nostalgic trip with me this morning with Coastal Scents. If you use them, let me know down below. I'd, I'd love to I'd love to hear um, what you loved about if you did that. Or if there was another brand that you did that. I know there were other brands, but I, I used Coastal Scents. That's the only one that I used. Um, like that, that I would buy individual shades from until I bought individual shades from Makeup Geek was the first and then MAC. Um, and now I have, then I started depotting, which was years later when I would depot and then make, you know, combine what I wanted to together. I was really scared to depot for a long time because I, I was, you know, I watched so many videos about it too. And I was like, I just, I know I'll break something. And the whole point of depotting is that you want to keep it. And I was like, I just don't, I don't want to risk it. And I have broken a couple of things. My Melba blush, bless her heart, has been through the gigs. But it is, it's really rewarding to depot something. Because you take it from a status of, I 
don't use this because of its packaging, because it's in a separate place or whatever, to I get to use this all the time because it is accessible in a way that I will use it. Love that. Love it. Love that journey for me. Let's use the Get Big Lashes from Essence. This is the Volume Boost. It's waterproof. Um, and she's a little like a fat conifer tree. I don't know why she's conifer, but she is. Um, natural bristle brush. And we will use her today. I'm about to declutter mascara. Like, not declutter, but like move out mascaras that have been open for um, like December from before Christmas. And get those out. I have so many mascaras to try and to use. Um, but I also keep my mascaras open for sometimes longer than three months. But if they're ones that I've tried and I'm like, okay, I have an opinion and they aren't like amazing, then I will, I will put them in my empties and open a couple of new ones to keep trying. I have a, ma a mascara like drawer. All my little samples of mascara go in there. And if I get a mascara and a kit or a gift with purchase or anything like that, it all goes in that drawer. And so I have quite a bit to try. Some I open immediately because I can't stand myself. But a lot of them go in that drawer. So lots to try. Lots to try. This is not a terrible mascara. It's not Lash Princess. But it is not a terrible mascara. It, I mean, it does a decent job. Let's pair it with something else real quick. Let's actually pair it with Mac Stack. Let's see what she does with this mascara underneath. I haven't paired Mac with anything else. I've just been using it by itself because it is so good by itself. I don't think pairing it would be a bad idea. That'll do. Yeah. Those two went well together. Okay. I've been using this ever since I got it. This is the Eye Method Beauty. Um, it's their their plumping lip gloss. And it's it is it's it's like I I said minty. I think it's more menthol-y. But this is in the shade Dolly. I think it's 630. This is gorgeous. You get our Method Beauty on Amazon. And this, I'm just using it every day. It's a little bit pinky nude. I feel the tingle for uh, maybe eight or nine minutes about. I'm thinking, I was looking at the clock the other day trying to, trying to determine it and then I got distracted because Welcome to my world. And it's not bad. Tingle. So I don't like Too Faced Lip Injection. I cannot with that one. And then I'm actually allergic to a lot of products that people put, people, makeup brands, put in a tingling, plumping lip gloss. I'm not, this is not one of them. Every time I get one, Mr. Mugwump's like, oh no. Because I have, I have an infamous for putting this, like some sort of lip plumping thing on my lips in a really awkward place like the car and then find out in the car that I'm allergic to it that's how I roll and then it's a race to find somewhere to like give it off me and like soap and water wash my mouth I'm a delight aren't you glad you're not married to me because some days I wonder if he is um <laughs> welcome this is my face. I think it looks beautiful. I do, I do. I think it looks great. I have Franken a foundation that I actually enjoy. I can't wait till there's enough room to make it. I think I want just the Physician's Formula Lightning Drops. Um, not like thunder and, but like color. Happy Wednesday. Um, I want to lighten it up some because it's just a little bit too dark, but I love it. I think it's beautiful. I think it sits. What is it you ask? I don't, literally 15 different foundations. Little squeezy things, little foil packets that I just dumped and had a great time. I was, I was playing scientist and I love it. So let's, uh, let's be friends on the internet if we aren't already. Thank you for hanging out with me. Like this video if you haven't already. 
and uh, hit subscribe and we'll be friends. Tingly, but good tingly and gorgeous. Coastal scents, did you use them? Type down below, tell me. Tell me I'm not alone in my obsession with coastal scents from 2003. No, 13, 2013, 14 maybe. I think that's when. I wish I'd like, you know, like written things on, on it to know, but I, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't archive things very well in my home. Anyway, I'll shut up now. I love y'all. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.